You can see how choppy the text looks when it starts and stops its animation. To fix this, click on this icon to open up the curve editor. Use the drop down to select what keyframe you want to adjust. Click inside of the curve editor and then select all keyframes using command A. You can click on this icon here to make a simple ease in and ease out. It's now smooth. To move a selected clip only one frame, hit the comma key to move to the left and the period key to move to the right. Position the playhead where you need to make your edit. Use the shortcut Option Y to select all clips to the right of your playhead. You can use Command Option Y to select everything to the left. Before moving anything, if you want to leave a track still, you can lock the track. Or if you want to leave a specific clip still, hold Command and deselect certain highlighted clips. Using the regular selection mode, select all of the clips. Now use the shortcut T to select the trim edit mode. With the clips still selected, use the shortcut Command D to change clip duration. Select or type in your desired time and you're done. In the color page, select the clip you want to work with. Use Option S to make a node. Right click in the node workspace and select Add Alpha Output. Click and drag from the clip to connect the alpha outputs. Now go to the Windows tab and select the masking option that you want. Invert the mask using this icon. Adjust it how you want. Over in the edit page, you can see the final product. In the media page, find the folder you created on your computer with all of your files for a project. Select all of the folders, right click, and select this option that says create bins. DaVinci has created bins and imported all of the files. Still in the media page, find the edited video you want to import. Right click on it, select scene cut detection, and select auto scene detect. And then, once that's done, select add cuts to media pool. You now have access to individual clips from an already edited video. Find your timeline in the media pool. Right click and duplicate the timeline. Right click on the new timeline, select timelines and then timeline settings. Uncheck project settings and then check use vertical resolution and change the drop down to center crop with no resizing. If you have multiple clips that need the same settings or effect, first make the changes to a single clip. Once this is complete, copy the clip with Command C. Then select the clips you want to add the changes to. Use the shortcut Option V to paste attributes. Finally, check the boxes with the settings you want to copy over. Click Apply, and that's it. First select Timeline View Options, and then select Stack Timelines. Now you can switch between multiple timelines. If you want to see multiple timelines at once, click this icon to add another window. In the Fairlight page, find your clip. Next, click on the Automation Controls icon. Over in the mixer, find the track that your clip is on. Double click on EQ. In the Automation Controls, select Right, Latch, Return, and then select EQ. Hit Toggle Automation, which is this icon. Drag number 5 down to around 250 Hz. Start the playhead at the beginning, press play, and then return number 5 to its original position when you want the audio to return to playing normally. Thanks for watching another video. I'll see you later, friends.